<clears throat> you know, except for those of you who own like a fixed lens um, X70 and X100F, this applies to absolutely every Fujifilm user. Now, I have every Fujifilm GFX lens made and also every uh, X series lens made, except for the 18mm, which I don't want. Just don't like it. Um, so basically, every Fujifilm. Lens. But some of my favorite lenses actually to use in the Fuji are really cheap um, adapted lenses. One thing that the Sony users seem to be acutely aware of that I really don't. I mean, I mean, there's tons of people out there using adapted lenses in their Fujifilm. This is no slant against Fujifilm lenses, not at all. Since uh, you know, I own all of them, um, but you can really have some really incredibly amazing stuff for like 50 bucks or less. At the very most, it's like, wow, this lens is just incredible. For like 100 bucks or less. Is it a manual focus lens? Uh, yeah. This also slows you down. I mean, are you going to be needing that for, uh, you know, walking around street, taking pictures of, you know, still life stuff? No. Do you need it for someone that you're posing? No, because they're under your control. You know, you tell them to do this, do that, and they're holding stuff. So you really should invest in a couple of few. You, you, you have so much fun with them. Um, you really will. I think a lot of Fujifilm users are really missing out. They're talking about what next Fujifilm lens to buy is, and that's all well and wonderful. But what about in the meantime, like throwing $100? $100 will actually get you two nice lenses, actually. Some of them are radioactive, so if you want to avoid the radioactive lenses, that's okay. <laughs> um, there's Yashinan lenses, there's old Mamiya Secors, uh, M42 lenses. I use a lot of adapted, really cheap, awesome Nikkor lenses. There's the Voigtlander lenses. Now, some of those are not too cheap. I mean, one of the best lenses in the world to me. It's a Topcon design. It's made by Voigtlander. It's a 58mm 1.4 Nocton. Uh, I buy it in a Nikon mount just because I have a Nikon camera and I could use it on that too, but I use a, a Nikon F to Fuji X adapter, which is only 20 bucks. And that lens is just, oh man, ugh. That lens is $400 used all day long on eBay. That lens is made as good as a $15,000 Leica lens. It is. If you're not familiar with Voigtlander quality, it's way the hell up there. It's even better than Zeiss. Casino Voigtlander, however, you know, they're... A lot of the Zeiss and Voigtlander lenses are basically made in the same spot, but actually Voigtlander lenses do spec out better uh, quality control and uh, production quality than Zeiss. N not by a tremendous amount, but certainly they do, because I have a lot of Zeiss lenses and quite a lot of Voigtlander lenses. But um, specifically to uh, exact amount lenses, um, M42 screw mount lenses like this Mamiya Secor. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know, 15 rounded aperture blades, pure perfection. This lens is not radioactive. Wow. Like the Auto Sears lens. I, I, I have eight of those lenses because every time I see a really cheap one, I buy it. I recently got another one, which is like my ninth lens. I mean, that lens is amazing. That thing is the exact same lens as the Rikina. And Sears never made lenses, of course. As the Rikina 55mm 1.4, except it's listed as Auto Sears. Most of the Sears versions are the later ones and they're not radioactive. Um, um, that lens can be had for like 45 or 50 bucks. That, that lens is absolutely crotch melting incredible. Just a lot of uh, Fujifilm users are just missing out. I mean, is it a manual focus? Do you have an issue with manual focus lenses? Probably don't. I mean, why don't you buy one? I mean, $100 will get you two great lenses. Actually, $100 will get you two great lenses and an adapter. Um, or it'll get you one really awesome M42 lens and an adapter. And you probably have more fun with that super awesome uh, old manual focus lens. You know, out resolve? No, so that's an old lens. It's not that sharp. Are you kidding me? Actually, some of the sharpest lenses I have are some really old lenses, like the Yashinan. That's a really rare lens. Yashinan 5 centimeter, i.e. a 50 millimeter. It's an F2. It's a tiny, tiny little lens. Man, is it sharp. Man, the bulk is incredible. Um, you know, Nikon and uh, Sony and Fuji, they just don't have lenses like that. I'm not saying that the Fuji lenses are deficient, but there's some really cool stuff out there, and it's damn cheap. Like this lens, for example. So, I think a lot of Fujifilm users are really making a mistake and not considering 
looking at. And a lot of people, I guess, are afraid because they don't know what lenses are good and which aren't. Just ask me about it via email. I mean, I've made videos on which are the really good ones and the good cheap ones. And uh, some of them have amazing bokeh properties, like the Biotar 58 millimeter. Ooh. Um, the Helios, um, is it the 75 millimeter F15? Wow. Talk about swirly bokeh. I mean, that lens is amazing. Um, I actually use some amazing Nikkor lenses adapted, like the 105mm f1.8 AIS. Wow, what a lens on the Fuji. What a lens. I just uh, think a lot of Fujifilm users are making a mistake on that front. Something to consider. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day, and goodbye.